Hi everyone, Stuart Coulthard from Rubik's Business Accountants and Happy New Year. What do I mean by that? Happy FBT New Year. So on the 31st of March last week, uh, or Sunday actually, the end of the financial FBT year occurred, which means businesses who employ staff and provide benefits to them need to look at whether an FBT return, so a fringe benefit tax return, needs to be done. Um, an FBT is, is required when you provide benefits to staff. That is not your salary and wage. Things like providing cars, car parking, gym memberships, uh, that is over and above a, a wage. And an FBT return needs to be lodged. That return needs to be lodged by the end of June. Uh, so we're really proactive with our requirements around this for our clients, whether you need to do one or not. And we get things lodged on time. And the reason why we do that, first of all, it's good practice. Um, it, it means you're a good business, as well as it's, if you lodge an FBT return, it does limit when the ATO can go back and uh, audit you around the FBT requirements. So if you've got any questions or whether your business needs to lodge an FBT return, again, it's usually when you've got staff, yourself being a staff member if you pay yourself a wage, um, please contact us. We're happy to help. We've sent out a lot of communication to our clients already around this. But if you've got any extra questions, please call us. Bye.